important to see the recent census data showing that only demographics to change or to decline are the English and Christians. And from what I've seen, liberal commentators have been claiming it's a fine thing to see high levels of immigration because it's immigrants propping up the church. Well, I don't think that's true because we've had record highs of immigration in recent years, reaching 1.1 million immigrants arriving in the UK last year. But the number of Christians is still plummeting, putting us in a minority for the first time in modern history. The UK has always been a Christian country. There are those who would argue Joseph of Arimathea arrived in England as the first missionary, the very man who buried Jesus. It's also been claimed that St. Paul arrived in England during his journeys west. King Lucius, a second century king of the Britons, is credited with requesting Christian teachers be sent to this land from the Bishop of Rome. His letters to the Pope speak of the Christian conversion of Britain. We know Christians crossed the UK from Gaul, now France, and planted churches during the second century. And of course, St. Alban arrived in Hertfordshire in the third and fourth century and is recorded as one of the first Britain Christian martyrs. All of this is before Augustine of Canterbury famously arrived in the year of our Lord 597 as a monk sent by Gregory the Great to evangelise King Athelbert. The Church of England has many roots, Celtic, European, potentially Judean and Roman. There are many who would denigrate our history, claiming that we are a pagan nation. But the truth is, the British have always been Christian. These lands are Christian. Our society and our laws were built upon Christian faith. It is astonishing then to see Christianity fall into a minority religion in the UK with only 46.2% of people identifying themselves as Christians in the 2021 census. A 13% point drop in a decade. What has been going wrong? If we look at places where the church is growing, Africa, Asia, Latin America, Eastern Europe and the Muslim world, we see an orthodox Christianity rooted in traditional doctrine. And when we look at places where the church is in decline, UK, Canada and America, we see the church is modernising, becoming more liberal progressive and less orthodox. Will the Western church learn from this? Probably not. Chances are they're going to double down on chasing societal norms in an attempt to become more relevant to the secular society around us, therefore, therefore pushing the faith further away, pushing the faithful further away. It seems to me the problem is obvious. The further the church steps away from God's law and towards the abstract values of the day, the faster the decline. We're called to be in the world, but not of the world. I took a lot of stick for proclaiming Christian teachings on this show on the issues of marriage, abortion, and sexuality. These traditional messages caught people off guard, and I think they were shocked to hear them because the church has been silent for too long. I believe it's time for the bishops to become defenders of the faith once again. It's a simple message, the gospel. We are all sinners. Sin is bad. We must repent and find faith in Jesus Christ, be born again in the Holy Spirit, and we may live an eternal life in him because he died and resurrected for our salvation.